Hi, I'm Doug Stewart from Wave Marketing Direct and welcome to another of my weekly video tutorials. In this week's tutorial I'm going to show you how to insert a border into your table. Now there's many marketers that like to do this and there's many that don't. It doesn't really make any difference. Um, it doesn't sell your product any better um, but it does actually make it quite nice if you have uh, a breakup of your main sales copy with testimonials, a guarantee and even a payment area and if you insert a table for those particular items then you can quite easily place a border around uh, the table just to break it up and make it look quite attractive. Now there's two ways you can insert, insert a border um, the first way I don't particularly like because it doesn't give me as much freedom as the second but I'll show you how to do it anyway. First of all you need to highlight the, the table that you want to insert your border into and then what you need to do then is to come down to where it says border and just insert number one or number two. Now if you uh, insert zero that basically gives you an invisible border so the higher the number the, the thicker the border becomes. So in the actual area and you can see now that there's a thin red line running around the outside of my table. Now with this particular procedure wherever there's a line, i.e. there was a line running along the bottom of my header, this has actually put a, a red line in there which I don't want. Um, so that's just why I was saying it's it's not very practical if you want a little bit of freedom. So I'm just going to come out of there and do this and I'll show you how to insert a CSS style border which gives you much more freedom. First of all you need to just highlight the area of the table again and then come up to design on the top right hand side here come right down to the bottom and you'll see a little square icon with a plus mark in it that's a new CSS style so just click on that and we're going to call this um, border 1 for this project and I'm just going to use it for this document only so click on OK and it will open up the definition box so now you need to come down to where it says border on the left here and the first box here is for the actual style so this is where you decide where you want uh, a dotted or a dashed or a solid line running around the outside of your table now for testimonials guarantees etc I would suggest you use a dashed line but for the outside of the table itself or the outside of the uh, main sales copy table itself I'm going to use a solid line for this particular project although you can use dashed lines for the outside of the main sales table as well. In the middle we've got the thickness of the line and in this case I'm going to use a medium thickness and then finally we have the colour and again I'm going to use the dark red I used before. So now you've done all that just click on OK and you can see now there's a thin red line being inserted into the table so I'm just going to save this and show you what it actually looks like and as you can see now I've got the red line running around the outside but there's no red line running along the bottom of my header and if I come down this is actually my uh, opt-in page for one of my products so here we have my opt-in box and you can see there's a, a dashed red line running around the outside of my opt-in box but the technique is exactly the same you, you have your table with your opt-in form in there and then you just right click the outside of the table and then choose the uh, style line that you want to insert so it's very very simple very very quick to do in fact you can do it quicker than the length of this video once you've got it practiced if you want to get some more hints and tips on how to use Dreamweaver MX, I've got a DVD on my website www.wavemarketing.co.uk and what this is, it's a series of uh, flash videos just showing you how to start off a basic website using Dreamweaver MX and also how to make up a basic header using Fireworks MX. So why not pop over there and have a look for yourself. Until next time, Take care.